Hey guys, it's Holly the Twister Sister and today I'm going to do a quick review video on some brand new balloon pumps. Woo. So I picked these up at Florida Super Jam and they were being sold by Cricket's Corner. So thank you, Ryan. And I got both of these pumps there. Um, this is the Legenda. It is, I always forget the model number, the B231. Um, there's a lot of places online where you can get these now and I'll put some links in the description if you're interested in getting either one of these. I'll link to where uh, they're available. Um, they're made by Borsino, which makes a lot of really cool balloon products. Um, so take a look at them sometime if you get a chance. Um, but these are both made especially for twisting balloons and they come with different uh, tips that you can change out. And I'm actually missing one, I just noticed. But um, this pump, the, what is it called on here? It's called the Little Genius, but the model number is the B221, 231, 221. Um, this is a single motor and this has two motors in it. So this one's a little bit more powerful than this one. Um, but I'm gonna demonstrate these so you can see kind of what they sound like, how loud they are, how fast they blow up the balloons and all of that. So just a quick overview, when you buy these, it does come with the um, cord to plug into the wall to charge it, but the battery life on both of these is amazing. Woo! <laughs> Preview. <laughs> The battery life on both of these is really good. Um, I've used both of these at parties two or three weekends in a row now, and I haven't even had to charge them back up. So the battery just keeps on going and going. Um, this one came with three different tips that you could put uh, switch out here if you want to change it up from 260s to 160s. Uh, there was two metal tips, or one metal tip and two plastic ones, and you can store them down here. Um, they're not too sturdy, they will fall out, and as I said earlier, I'm missing one, which has fallen out, um, so you might want to rethink that. Or It looks like there should be a case, a covering over this, but I'm not sure if that was included in the box. Maybe it should have been. I just now realized that there's holes here for like a cover to go over those. Um, so maybe it does come with a cover and I just missed that part in the box. Either way, <laughs> that would be the smart thing to check. Um, I want to demonstrate how these blow up on the top of this pump. You'll notice that there is a red button and then this black switch. This turns it on and off and also uh, goes through the different options for how to inflate your balloon. So right now it's off, but you've got two ways to inflate the balloon. You can either push right here or you can push the red button on top. And you do that by switching this black switch on one side. We'll inflate the balloon by pressing right here. Switch the other side, and now it will inflate with the red button and not this, okay? You also comes with this nice strap, and I like to wear it on a cross body like this when I'm at a party. And I tested this out at the, my last few parties over the last couple of weekends, and I love this. It's great because I don't have anything, like no floor pump or anything in front of me for the kids to like get their hands all over and play with and fall. My setup for like coming in and out away from a party, it's a lot nicer because I don't, I would always carry my floor pump in one hand and my rolling cart in the other, and then you get to a door or to some stairs and you're like, I don't have any free hands, help me out somebody please. <laughs> but if I don't have the floor pump and I'm just bringing this with me, it fits in my rolling cart. So everything is in my cart and I have a hand free to like open doors or pick up the cart to go down steps and stuff. It's really easy when you're at a party to just slide your balloon over here on your side and blow it up. It's not too loud. I'll demonstrate uh, fully inflating a 260 in a minute. Um, but it's not that loud at all. I've used this in birthday parties and in a few restaurant gigs, and especially in restaurants with the noise and the hustle and bustle, like people don't even notice this little bit of a noise. Um, so I've always been stayed away from electric pumps because they're just too loud for me, and these aren't. Both of them I'm fine with. Now let's talk about the other one because it's a little bit fancier. 
This is the dual motor single nozzle Legenda. Um, it's also made by Borosino, but they're calling it a Legenda. Um, and it's definitely heavier. This is not something that you wear on you. You've got to have a table or something in your kit. Um, it also comes with the power cord, of course, so you can plug it in to charge it up. You can leave it plugged in while you're working or the battery life on this is like just insane. So you really don't need to bring the power cord with you. This will last you through a lot of parties. Um, a little more advanced, it comes with a battery capacity screen here so you can actually see exactly um, how your battery life is doing and then it also comes with this cool timer so if you've never used an electric pump with a timer it goes off a of seconds and so you can use these up and down arrows here um, to switch through and tell it when you push the button to blow up for exactly two seconds and then shut off and that's great for if you're blowing up a bunch of balloons that you want to all be the same size, rounds or 260s. Um, just put it on here and then you don't have to size anything. It's just automatic, same size every time. It's great for consistency and giving a professional quality look to your work. Now this one does have the button right behind the nozzle so that it's easy when you slide the balloon on, your finger's right there. It's easy to just go ahead and pump it up. Now this one is a little bit louder than this one, but not by much. Um, especially for having twice the power of this one you'd really expect it to be a lot louder but it's not so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just fully inflate this 260 here so you can kind of see the process so it does inflate slower than like if I'd stuck this on a filbert and did one full swipe and it would be fully inflated. So this takes a little bit longer if you're gonna be fully inflating a lot of balloons, um, but it's a lot easier on your body and your arms and your muscles. So it's kind of a trade off. Now I'm gonna to attempt to blow up two 260s at the same time so you can see the speed difference. Ready, set, go. All right. So fully inflated on both 260s. Uh, you saw that the black one went a lot faster than the blue one here. Now we're gonna try 160s. Both of these pumps are great for both 260s and 160s. Let me get them on here. So 160s, ready, set, go. I can't see. <laughs> Hit me behind my hair. <laughs> okay, this one didn't even get fully inflated yet. This one was definitely much faster. Um, but you can see on the 160s, it doesn't take too much time at all. So, blow up really fast. Fully inflated in just a second or two there. So, um, 160s are great with these things. Let's try 350 or 360. Ready, set, go! I just took them off when this one hit full. That way we can see the difference. So it's almost like half twice as fast with the black one as the blue one. I don't know if you guys are like me, but I love double stuffed rounds for alien heads and princess wands. And both pumps are great for that. I just slide it on, put a little air in the outside balloon and then back on for the inside balloon really nice and convenient um, makes this actually a lot faster than doing it with a hand pump really so love that next we're gonna try a double stuff gonna put a 160 inside of a 260 this little stick here thanks Jan gave that to me at Florida Super Gym um, it's first time using it <laughs> tie that off I'm told that this handles the double stuffed 260 things pretty good, which I don't do this often. But if you're big into making different color, why did I? I don't know why I tied the end of that. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, 
You know, I messed that up by tying the end together for some reason. It still blew it up with no problem at all. Didn't even struggle. So that's a double stuffed 160 inside of a 260. Now we're going to demonstrate the timer function. So you hit the uh, shift key once to set which side of this you want to change. So we're going to do half of a second here. Then you hit the shift key again and again until everything stops blinking and then you're good to go. Grab yourself around and all you have to do is push the button. You don't have to hold it down, you just push it and it automatically turns off after half a second. Then you can get all of your round balloon size the same. Or you can just keep pushing it. Say I need two pushes for that. Whatever. <laughs> That's the timer function. It will go all the way up to nine seconds on this machine. Something else that's really fun, if you have never gotten the hang of making curly Q balloons because you use a hand pump and it's really hard to do with hand pumps, now it's really easy to make curly Q balloons. So all you do is you fully inflate a balloon all the way. You're gonna let the air out. This just stretches the balloon out, makes it a little bit longer more curl, better, okay? And then you're gonna wrap it around your fingers like you've seen all your friends doing for years. And then just, you can slide it over the tip with one hand. Use one of these fingers here on the button. Hold it. Bam! Look at that. <laughs> so much easier. All right, so we can make a lot of curls. Ooh, that was fun. <laughs> All right, so I can't think of anything else that I should show you with these two pumps, um, but I do think that if you're a serious balloon twister and you're in this for the business, then this is kind of the new staple. This one will run you close to about two, 250, depending on who you buy it from, and this one closer to 100, 125, depending on where you get it from. And again, I'll post links to where you can order these down below this video. Video. and I'd like to see your comments if you guys have these what do you think of them so far and let me know your thoughts all right also if you want a cool balloon twisting skirt like me you can head on over to the twistersister.com where I've got all kinds of fun balloon gear and t-shirts just made for you guys all right hope you enjoy and I'll see you in the next video bye